today we're off on a tour around Driffield. Driffield's in East Yorkshire. This is called Long Lane. Because it's long and it's a lane. And it goes all the way up to the top of there. I like to start exciting. I'm joined by my dog, Lupin. He's a Romanian rescue dog. People try and guess what breed he is. And I don't know what breed he is. But they just list breeds. So your collie, don't know. Could be this, couldn't he? Don't know. Do you reckon he's got a bit of this in him? Don't know. I think he's got a bit of fox in him. I don't know. There must be a bit of work going on down there. Look, van with its light on. Guy with the high vis jacket. Wonder what's going on down there then. So that work behind me is um, networks. There's a slogan on the van and it says, building tomorrow's networks. Maybe that's why stuff never gets done because they're doing it tomorrow. Always doing it tomorrow. If anybody's lost their white bag, it's their care home. Where the elderly and those in need of care do activities, live a happy life in the care home and yeah, get the care that they need. Good times. And it's getting demolished, so more work being done there. Look, doing tomorrow's infrastructure, but they're doing it today. Or maybe it's like they're always a day ahead of schedule because it's tomorrow's infrastructure that they're doing today. It's a unique selling point. Dogs take so long to choose somewhere to have a wee. Like, imagine if we went to like the toilets and we took about 10 minutes picking the urinal to it. It's windmill hill. There's no windmill, but it is a hill. So, off and back. Facilities include War Memorial, which is there, that's nice. Formal gardens. It's very formal. I want to see an informal garden. Sheltered seating area. That's not there anymore. And pedestrian bridge to the park. Get to walk across. Let's go see the pedestrian bridge to the park. No golf, pick up your boot. Let's go see the pedestrian bridge to the park. So apparently, it's noteworthy enough to put on a sign to advertise the unique selling points of this park. Let's go have a look. You can ride a big bit of rope there, look. You and your friends in. That's supposed to be a dragon and not just a massive piece of string. It of Driffield's Entertainment, Driffield Arena. Seats approximately zero people. Yeah, just a little, also where the cage fighting happens, dog fights, cat fights. Uh, yeah. Basketball and football. Still very excited about pedestrian bridge to park. Remember? It was good enough to be advertised as a selling point to this park. I'm really excited. There it is. Let's do it. Oh, this is a thrill. You must be at least this tall for this ride. No back or heart problems, please. You must be in a healthy state in order to enjoy Come on, I know it's exciting. He's crossing it as if it's a very dangerous rickety rope bridge, which it's as thrilling as. And there we go. That was pedestrian bridge to the park. Just in case you needed to nip into the river, there's um, just a nice little path for you to do so. Old Saints Parish Church. Why do they have to be so big? Is it a synthesizer being turned into a clothes peg thing? Oh, and a kettle. Yeah, I need one of those. Weather spoons. Oi, oi, oi. Who doesn't love for weather spoons? Christmas lights still up. Come on, Drift. Come on. I'm carrying around a bag of poo this whole time. It cost about eight bins. I've not put it in the bin. This is Market Walk. Let's have a look at Market Walk. Bell Hair Beauty Salon. The back of a pub. Town Council building. 
Town Council building. Town Council building. Credit Union. None of these places look open. And bras. And thus ends our journey up Market Walk. That was good. We've been here for a coffee and a cake. Why not? A little gelato sandwich -y thing. And a cappuccino. And a ice cream. Ice cream for a cappuccino. There it is. That was really good. The Yorkshire Trading Company. It's a company that trades in Yorkshire. I thought of a way you could shorten that down. Shop. Driffy up is like three betting shops. Now, do they not all do the same events? Why would you need three different shops if they're all betting on the same events? Are the odds different? I don't know. You tell me. Turf war of drift. You've got a Greg's. And then a Coupland's right next to it. But they meet annually for a big fight. I feel this. You could walk down the street for about 10 minutes and you'd just see like the same kind of shop over and over again. It's like the backgrounds in Scooby-Doo, you just see the same thing going past like charity shop, betting shop, hairdressers, charity shop, betting shop, hairdressers. Turkish barbers are more highly regarded than other kind of barbers. Like if they're the Turkish barber, they have to they sell as a unique selling point that they're a Turkish barber. A bit of a mystery to me, I don't know. Do you? I might go in here and ask for that particular bottle of screen wash. See what happens. Because you can buy yourself some fabrics and beautiful gifts and pick yourself up a lawnmower at the same time. Well, at least they're honest. Over there is a place called Little Driftfield. It's exactly the same as Driftfield, but everything's just smaller. So it's got a Yorkshire shop, it's got barbers and stuff. It's just everything's little. It's quite good. Dwarves live there. Nothing here. It's cool at the park. Come on, Lucy. Forgot about that. Excuse my language. Branch. Yeah, this leads to, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's a fairly decent park. What for this? Somewhat creepy tree lined path. I say creepy, it's not during the day. But if you're walking here during the night, I imagine it would be pretty spooky. Just checking no one's behind me. Sneaking up on me. Never be too careful in drift. Actually, it's a very peaceful place to live. Don't know where that goes, but we're not going that way anyway. But okay. Right. Um Yeah. I almost share the same sentiment as you Luke, to be honest, because this could be challenging to get through. I've got the Timberlands on, so I don't know what I'm worried about. This is what they're for. Okay, it's actually not a problem. Can you, come on. He'll, he'll sniff like the tip of a twig for about two minutes and then we on it. Did you need to sniff it for two minutes? Did you need him? Did you there? No. Absolute show off. No problem for Lupin. Actually no problem for me to be honest. Go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Hey loops. There we go. Nothing to worry about. I don't, I don't know why you're all so concerned, to be honest. I mean, it's nice. It's, um, it's not exactly maintained, but you know, it's a very ideal place to walk your dog. Just a nice open area. I'm not a huge fan of letting him off the lead in sort of places like this because he tends to chase people on bikes um, he did chase a lady on a bike once so we had to take it off him so that's sleeping 
He doesn't like go. Can you not kick? He wheezes and then he just kicks debris all over me, which is nice, isn't it? What he tends to do is he walks past something, walks completely past it, and then he likes to walk backwards about 20 feet because it's like he forgot to sniff it or something. So it's one step forward, two steps back sometimes, walking, looping. And you don't care, so. I went out of my way to show you this, would you believe? I am trying my absolute hardest to show you something that is actually quite cool and interesting in Driftfield. I'm going to struggle. Because the thing, thing is, in Driftfield, things are nice, things are pleasant. Nothing's particularly exciting, to be honest. Okay, so this is new. They've erected a... Um, somewhat makeshift fence around this pond I don't know why but there you go welcome to the Keld the Keld is situated on the spring line at the foot of the Yorkshire Wolds and in the past was a minor spring source to provide water power for King's Mill so there was a mill here once, and there isn't now. And birds, voles, fish, and heron all live at the Keld. All thanks to the Driffield Millennium Green Trust. Duck council meeting, talking about duck stuff, duck shiz. That's quite a nice view, isn't it? A tree. I don't know if that's fallen into the river or it's just, you know, just doing its own thing. Very nearly swallowed about 20 flying midgy mite things. Which was lovely. It's really good. Nature. All right. Okay. Don't want any trouble. Things are getting a little bit hostile in Driffield right now. Oh God, Lupin's right. So, you know, Lupin's getting a bit scared. So let's get away from these absolute mad lads. Sorry, Lupin. Why don't we go on this lovely nature walk? What you can do is you can sit on this bench Oh, and you've got a lovely view of that. That's cracking, isn't it? Got a cracking view. Tall dead grass and leaves. And nothing else. On oh, a bin. It's Driffield Log Flume. It's not in um, operation in January. What you do is you get in a little boat, like a little log flume, and you go all the way down there into the water. Driffield's um, one of Driffield's big, big main attractions. It's really, really good. Sleeping. So this is nice, isn't it? A little path. Um, I've been up into this bit before, and there was some like Highland cattle ready to gore me to death. I don't know if they're going to be here today, though. So I just had to a duck under another cloud of midges. It's just like little gangs of them that just sporadically appear, hovering in the air. Oh no, it's another dog walker. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is the, the, the. This is literally it. Far here. Um, as I said, there were some like Highland cattle here, but now they're gone. They may have already been slaughtered into burgers. Don't know. But yeah, this is literally. It. Open this. I've opened this gate for looping. 
Are you gonna go through? No, I'll, I'll go here. Why are you the way that you are, Lupin? I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. <sighs> so, that is literally that entire attraction the Millennium Gardens Green thing. I mean, it, it, it's a lovely, quiet place to walk your dog. Nice place to see a bit of nature, a few ducks, some midges. But yeah, again, just nothing particularly exciting, really. Hmm. Deforestation. Don't really know why. I mean, what harm are trees doing there? All right, let's learn things. A millennium green is a piece of land, large or small, bought with the help of lottery funds. Pond, 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 old buildings, and that's it. Get a free pair of gloves for every visit. They're not matching, but you know, they're free, so what more do you want? I wonder where that would rank in the 500 best toilets in the UK. Jiffield Cricket Club. And that's where they play cricket. Yeah, see, so you shrug your shoulders. But I have you know, Driffield Town Cricket Club won the league in 2022, so, you know. I'm very quickly running out of Driffield, I'm not going to lie to you. One thing I didn't actually know about Driffield, it's quite a bustling centre of archaeology. This area, found arrowheads and stuff. That's good, isn't it? Bit of history. Good for drift. Names of people that are stealing the arrowheads from. Very good. Right, I am going to find one exciting thing. I'm going to find it. I'm going to make it my mission to find one exciting thing in Driffield. Marco Polo's do an incredible garlic bread. You could argue that this is a very exciting part of Driffield. Because it's a train station. And using the train station, you can leave Driffield and go somewhere exciting. But what I don't understand about this train station is, right? There's a sign saying, Welcome to Driffield. But to see it, you have to be walking towards the train station in order to be welcomed to Driffield. <laughs> um, last bastion of finding something exciting in Driffield. This used to be an old canal, um, an old warehouse there, uh, Mortimer's warehouse. Um, Mortimer's Warehouse, Seeds and Peas. Oddly, there's boats moored up here. Never seen that before. It's usually just a canal and nothing else, but today there's boats moored up. And I'm not going to ask why, or what it's for, or what's going on. Because I don't care. You've been fell in this river once. He was just at the side of the river. No duck rolling things. He was just at the side of the river and he fell in. Didn't you, Lopes? He also fell in a, um, a lake in Hull. An old crane, presumably to lift things off the canal boats. Mm, yeah, and it just goes down there. And there's a long walk to somewhere. I've run out of things to show you. Um, should you come to Driffield? Yeah, why not? Um, Lupin's pulling me into the river. I don't know why. Stop it, Lupin. Um, it's a lovely place. The people are very, very nice, very, very pleasant. It's just not an exciting place. 
in the world. There's nothing exciting here. There's pubs, cafes, restaurants. I think there's a couple of restaurants. Marco Polo's do an incredible garlic bread. Come back, come, come, come and come here. Come for a day out here. Come for an hour here. Make it your own mind. You might find it exciting. Different strokes for different folks. I always walk past here and look at this and think, what is this? Cosmic gifts? What did they used to sell? I really want to know. If you're from Deerfield and you're here when this is open, please tell me what this used to sell. How cosmic were the gifts? One last walk through Driffield, through the town centre, to find anything exciting. There has to be something. There just has to be an M where the YouTube influencers in Driffield come to buy things and then show you what they've bought. I think that could well be it. Look at that. Look at that fine piece of craftsmanship. Beautiful.